It was me. All right. Hello. Hello. It's Lulu with the uh, House of Oshun. And thank you for joining us here today. I have my lovely assistant here helping us along our journey. Thank you. Keeping us in check. All right. Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. Thank you for your love and support. Port. 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 Okay, y'all better get cute, Earth Signs. What y'all got going on? Um, let's see, honey. Uh, any uh, information that you need is in the description box down below. Yes. Yes. Okay. Also, you can uh, pick up the 90-day journey to mindfulness, um, which is available on my website as well as uh, on Amazon.com. Oh, yes, it's a workbook. Someone tried to belittle my motherfucking journal by saying it's not a book, it's a workbook. Bitch, that make it even more of a something going on. Don't get me started. It's supposed to be a peaceful day. Don't get me started, though. Okay? Because you turn that key in my back, I'm going to keep on going. Oh, okay. Move forward. Like I said, though. I don't like that. People be like, oh, yeah, you and your little business. Bitch, what you calling a little? Anthony Painless. Acting up. All right, let's see what's going on. What y'all got going on, honey? What do you have for these beautiful earth signs that did not come in here to hear me act up? Obviously, y'all dealing with fire signs because they start back acting up. And so they finna chill out. What are y'all doing? Let's see. What's going on with my beautiful Virgos, Taurus, and Capricorn? Yep, y'all acting up. It's a red coat. They got a red coat. Root chop. All right. The hell? See nature. Go outside. Go watch the pep talk that has the same outfit. I got on the same outfit. It must go with this. Somebody here need to hear the pep talk that just went down. This says see nature. Hmm? But I really feel like they want you to see the nature in certain situations. The natural, organic way of viewing things. Right? Um, like I said in the pep talk, really quick. Like I said in the pep talk, um, with earth signs being so grounded. Right? Um, Y'all are just of this dimension okay um, that part i might be just making up or something like that because you know a lot of them capricorns back back in the guy them intuitive motherfuckers was in the comments telling me all types of shit one time okay now then because you know they opposite sign is cancer so what is your opposite sign look into it you probably reflecting a whole lot of that what is the shadow side that you need to go ahead and look at that shit line it up huh put your boxing gloves on probably already have Let's read. All right. It says, recognizing how the natural world and the human-made world are intertwined can bring great joy and appreciation. When we take the time to see nature and the environment around us, it opens us up to a sense of wonder. Take some time to explore your surroundings and look for nature in unexpected places. A tree, a bird, a flower, a gorgeous sunset, a drop of rain. Once you train your mind to see small moments of beauty, you can cultivate moments of joy in your everyday life. Okay? So, that's just about pulling back, recentering, and paying attention to what needs to be paid attention to and leaving things alone that don't even need your, require your motherfucking attention. It may desire your attention, but it may not require require your attention here um this has a lot to do with softness being more uh living moving more into a soft space hold on real quick now for real somebody <laughs> i was on y'all know i be in a red pill community uh lurking okay because it'd be funny to me what people be saying so somebody had made a comment on a post um uh, saying yes a woman needs to live a more soft life and this that <laughs> Oh shit! So, some of the men came under to my nigga. What 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 are y'all even talking about? About a damn soft life? There y'all go with that soft life shit. I was like, they don't even understand that they need to live a soft life too. <laughs> Sir, cause why are you so aggressive in these comments? Okay. <laughs> Moving forward, it's hilarious. All right. So, what do you have for these beautiful earth signs, honey? What do you have for these beautiful earth signs? Thank you. Ooh. 
some beautiful things are coming about, my beautiful lovelies. All right. Surrender to intuition. Surrender your belief in scarcity. Surrender to your soul's path. Surrender stress. Surrender what is to what is. Surrender your ego. Surrender your addiction. Surrender your need to always be right. And surrender procrastination. I'm telling you. <clears throat> I really feel like y'all may be moving into either y'all fire element or a water-esque element. All right. And what's so crazy is all the chakras are here, if you ask me. See, this is the argument. So, st stop trying to be right all the time. So it may, I'm telling you, even if you are not a fire sign, go look at the fire sign, Brie, because it may have something to do with that. You may have a lot of stress going on. Some of you may even be in a space where, um, and you got this in the same space, right? Tune into your inner voice. They had tuning in, right? They had a whole lot of other stuff going on. But this is you being able to see things for what they are, like a natural where they are, right? You want to be mindful of um, how you feel physically, how you, what are you picking up physically, um, all of the senses, basically, okay? What are you smelling? What are you hearing? What are you feeling? Um, sometimes you can't have a taste or um, just an overall, just a knowing, you know what I mean? And they want, what's crossing that is you being able to know that you can't change all situations sometimes you gotta let things play out they're nudging you to let you know that um if you accept things for exactly what they are accept where you are accept your soul's path accept um the, accept the direction that um you are being um gently moved into because i feel like they're gently moving you into a space they're gently moving you. Um, it's like a redirecting. So maybe that's what's going on a lot out here now. But you're being redirected. Um, mm, okay, fool's journey. But with this fool's journey, I feel as though this was... Um, even though it was written, it wasn't written where others could see it for you. You had to... Go through certain things in order for this part. It's like when you come to a clean uh, slate. You get a clean slate and you get um, these paths that you can walk down. You decide to go one way instead of the other way that had more structure. It had more, it was more in alignment with um, old parts of you that would have made it, um, that would have been least, um, there may have been a little more resistance than this side. Right, so you decide to go this way, the path of least uh, resistance, even though you don't know what's on the other side of it. By you making a choice here uh, to be re allowing yourself to be re redirected and surrendering to your life's journey, your soul's path, and surrendering to what is, guess what's about to happen? You got certain lifestyle changes that's going to have that you're going to need to do, babe. Um, this is going to be. Um, I feel like this is going to be something that you may have to ask certain people about or uh, maybe your spouse or people who are close to you. There is something here, okay? Because surrender to what is is holding the most weight in this story. And what I'm seeing here is that they are already taking you out of a lack mindset. But it's on you if you really um, believe, you really have faith. Let's read the book of faith. I was reading my motivational book earlier because I've been doing a <laughs> I am that person that got a, I will purchase a lot of motherfucking bookmarks and you will see all of the bookmarks in all of the books. Okay. But, um, this is day 177 and, um, it's about faith. Okay. I just decided to go and do a bus down up in here on y'all ladies like this right here. If I give you a tree as a gift and I tell you it is an avocado tree, avocado, okay, avocado, ho. Oh. A avocado tree you will tell every person who asks you what kind of tree is in, in your front yard because you have faith in what i said that's why right faith is simply believing and acting on the words and integrity of another faith in the most high is to believe and act on what was said okay and so i really feel like some of y'all come to the rev revelation of this especially when it comes to that lack mentality that um belief in scarcity right all i have is this all my life i had to fight no you are in a space where you are ready to move forward this is your soul's path coming in to tell you that you're going to be okay there's some reassurance here however with you trusting yourself more and with you moving into this space where um, you are opening up to infinite abundance and you realize that my your life path is designed for your soul's growth. I'm going to say it again. Your life path is designed for your soul's growth. 
Okay? It ain't all about um, Anthony and a new car that y'all gonna be driving around in. Because I'm trying to figure out why nobody ain't been reading from the book of E-40. Don't go buy no $50,000 car if you ain't bought a house. That's what he said. Okay? We need to talk about it one day. Y'all don't want to hear that part. But they want you to do that right there. They say embrace every lesson and every moment because you've been... What's going to happen here is once... <laughs> Once you get to this point where you see where it is that you are supposed to go, what you are supposed to be doing, if you stay relaxed in it, in your process, you won't stress the fuck out, okay? You won't get into this space where you um, are forgetting to breathe. It happens. Y'all just don't know. Shallow breathing happens more often than not if you don't check in with yourself on a regular basis so that you can circulate that air throughout your body, all parts of your body. Okay, because you have all these energy portals, all of these small chakras everywhere. You don't want no blockages. Just work on it on a regular basis. Just do this shit because I don't know what this is, but I just started doing this. So it's magical. Okay, everything is magical. Now, you want to surrender stress and surrender to what is. With that stress, because you are going back and forth with yourself just a little bit, not too much, there's a lot of work that you are doing and you're going to do a lot of work in a small amount of time because you said yes to a part of your process. Remember, you took the path of least resistance. The path of least resistance has more to do with being in a, um, in a, in a harmonic accord with the cosmos, with un the universal language of flow. Um Hopping on that love frequency, self-love, self-acceptance, but also hopping on that love frequency that you know that you are taken care of. Just just that situation, whatever. Because now you got to surrender ego. And it's like you need to, um, in order for you to be of service to others, you got to really make sure that you are doing everything from your heart and not doing it based on what it is that um, you want. There's nothing wrong with a want. There's nothing, because you, why not... Um, have also the benefit of living a life of luxury, whatever that is to you, and also be able to do what you came here to do and be of service to others. Why not have that? However, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. So if you do it from a space of you really do want to help people, because you see it all the time, people who really want to help people continue to help people. And as long as they are in tune with their goals, making shit happen, um, and being consistent about that, right? Oh, what have you? It's a story I need to tell a lot of time. Not y'all. It's not y'all business. <laughs> Thank you. But coming out of that space of um, conditioning, tradition, how people told you. See, that's the thing. Hear me out. People may have told you growing up that um, in order to attain certain things, you got to do things this way and that way. The sooner that you get in tune with who you are, the sooner that you get in alignment with your assignment, the sooner that you realize and try to work with your guides, angels, ancestors, and the like. When you really move into a space where you are seeing things for what that they are, this is your first card out. When you get in tune to see how things work for you, when you begin to learn how you move and how you operate and how it, it, it kind of goes against the grain or it's, it, it goes against the grain of what they taught you, what they told you, because they were conditioned. So it goes against that. But then you start figuring out piece by piece. They start showing you how to, all, how to unravel this thing. They begin to show you how to pull yourself out of this um, so-called maze. Because you've seen other people in your life be stuck in that maze. You see them trying to chase the cheese. You know, the little white rat in motherfucking maze. Okay. Chasing the cheese. And don't make it. Not knowing that they done stuck him in his ass with something. Because, you know, they be sticking them rats in the ass with stuff. And then they go chase, chase cheese. That's some whole ass shit. If I'm going to chase cheese, at the least, let me chase the cheese. Because I want to. But they be running off of whatever they got going on. They just be fucking with them damn rats, man. Yeah, I know I like Stuart Little. Now. Some of you may be doing a lot of reflecting when it comes to a conversation that needs to be had. When it comes to um, some type of getting the okay. That's what it feels like. You know why I say that? Because the stress and this ego are doing this. Okay? Visualization. Stress and ego are doing this to surrendering your need to be right. One way or the other. Okay? So this is what I'm getting. Um, you want to serve others. You're trying to figure out why certain things aren't working the way that you want them to. You may even be trying to figure out how much more do you need to go into gratitude or cultivate your gratitude practices. 
Wake up before you go to sleep. Say what you are thankful for. When you wake up, write down what you are thankful for. Also, there's a 2020 um, homework type deal in the pep talk. Same outfit. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. So here we are. There's something that they are showing you that you're going to have to release yourself of. Anytime we go through these processes, each level up, we have to release something. We come to terms with certain things that can't go with us. We come to terms with certain people who can't go with us. We, go to, we come to terms with certain ways of being that we just can't take to this next level with us. So surrender your addictions. The addictions could easily be overworking, um, not taking action. Inaction is an action in itself. The addiction could also be um, food, people, sex. It could just uh, whatever it is that you are giving a lot of your energy. You could just it could be just scrolling social me social media. That's an addiction, and then you get these little bursts of uh, dopamine, serotonin, and oxytocin, or whatever the good drugs that you naturally have in you. Um, whatever those good drugs are that they're triggering or what have you, you're giving in to the bullshit. Okay, stop being a government contractor. Okay, talking to myself on yesterday, looking at this. But um, overall, with this surrender your addictions. Something that you are obsessing about, something that, and it has to do with your ego. Whatever this is, is attached to the ego. In order for you to um, really move forward, it may be procrastination. You know that bitch can be an addiction or whatever. I don't know. I, look, I can tell the whole story. Now then, here we are. And I just moved these cards around. What does that mean? Put on a happy face. You ain't got to. You don't have to. Um, it's okay for you to be vulnerable, vulnerable with the people that you were designed to be vulnerable with, um, do some cussing, fussing, acting up where it needs be, right? Let the shit out. Everybody releases things differently. But what I'm getting here is that it's time for you to jump on top of a goal. I feel like there is someone that you want to consult with first before moving forward about this goal or someone that you will discuss this with that will who will propel uh, be a catalyst for you. You see, because with this surrender procrastination and surrender uh, to always being right. It's just that you just be you being hard on you be hard on yourself so much that you be hard on other people. And I really think that the here's the thing. We are in Virgo season. Here's the thing, okay? For those of you out there with strong Virgo placements and it's been hitting y'all and y'all about to realize a lot about how y'all operate, right? With Virgos, Virgos will, to make you happy, okay? Even though they know they write a shit, write, write it on a motherfucker. To make you happy, they willing to lose your ass so that at least you took you can take the advice that they gave your ass, if that makes sense, right? So here's the, the thing about that is there are parts of you that you no longer need to express yourself. There are parts of you or ways the ways that you express yourself or the ways that you get things done or how you move about in the world. All that is beginning to change. You may even be in a space where you are a teacher. You may know um, you may know more than the person that you are talking to, right? Just because you feel like you know more than what somebody else is saying, or know more than what somebody how somebody else does something, doesn't always mean that you know the right thing. If that makes sense, like you know more, but they may know how to do something in a way that it wouldn't even go the long way. Like where are you going? Like why are you taking the long way? Because I know how to get there. Yeah, but I know you, you taking six streets and I know how to take three motherfucking streets and get us there in less than seven minutes, though. You see, sometimes folks are right in their own way. They may not be able to explain to you how they are right, but they want to show you. So that's why it's good to learn other people's love language. All right. So surrender procrastination has a lot to do also with you taking action, which is going to attract success, with you taking action and allowing yourself to be in the moment of where you are, when you are, how you are, remembering whose you are, ho. That's what they said. Oh, thank you. All right, I did a whole lot of talking here today, but you got to look at these two bitch ladies. <laughs> I've been doing good, ain't it? Look, look at these two ladies. Bitch, releasing. Let it go. Let it be what it is. I surrender to what it is. Just go in the mirror and do that shit. Go do it. Matter of fact, every morning. That you wake up with that bullshit on your head and you can't go back to sleep. So you just like, you know what? I really want to go to this job. I really supposed to be doing this. I really want to go do this. I really want to be doing this. Just get in the mirror. Okay? This is this how I knew Cal going to take me away. I'm not going to remember this, but y'all going to remember it. So you get in the mirror and just be like, oh, I surrender to what is. I don't let it. 
Even if your titties is hanging very long, you got to embrace your titties, okay? If your titties is hanging like tube socks, embrace them tube socks. Don't let nobody tell you that you ain't no sexy motherfucker. The, uh, the right person gonna know how to roll them titties up and hold them up like they is meant to be, like they perky. You gonna be so in the moment, you gonna look down and your titties perky. That's because they know how to hold them. Embrace yourself. Get up out of here. Y'all got me talking all crazy. So maybe y'all uplifted by the end of this video. That's probably what it is. Because it got real serious up in there. So maybe y'all are uplifted now. What do you have for these earth signs and they titties, child? Mm. Just better embrace your damn titties. Let go of a fixed plan. Told your ass. Look at that. I ain't got a lot. Oh, I like it. I wish I could go further with y'all, but I can't. Let's um, let go of a fixed plan. Allow for spontaneity and growth, ho. They say, ho. You are bright energy. Color uplifts you. Change up what you see, and what you see will change, ho. All right. I'm Lulu. I love. This has been uh, my TED Talk. I appreciate each and every one of you. Climb the stairs. Go where the fuck you need to go. Go where no one else dares to go. Listen to information, conversation, and sit of, of other folks' situations so that you can make the right um, decisions because of all of the dictation. You dig? All right. I love y'all. If y'all made it this far, drop some stirs. <laughs> or some titties, <laughs> some long titties.